Hey there, Chipigo here, and welcome back to my K Factory Let's Play. Last episode, we left off getting the Crusher wheel, and I, you can see that I collected some of the gears and stuff. It's quite a mess, honestly. From here to here, and now it's working quite properly. And actually, I can move you up a bit. And you. Uh, oh yeah, I have my cobblestone here, right? Yep. I can do this, this, and this. There you go. That means basically items. I put items here. For example, like the rest of ore, it goes through here, and then it's, it will slowly, basically, start crushing it. And then after it finished crushing it, and then it will output into this chest below. Which is quite good. Of course, I can automate this later, but as you can see, I process all my ores, and this is all the ores I've for now, which is quite fine. And yeah, today I will be continuing doing create mod and blood magic as well because we would like to advance towards the other stuff like water and lava. Because well, if I get this, then it will be much more simpler to do things, especially water. I guess. So to start things off, we will need Akin Ashes, which is actually not a very hard recipe. We need gunpowder, coal, white dye, and redstone. That is very easy. One redstone, and now we've forgotten. Wait, we need one coal, not this tiny coal, this coal. We need white dye, basically, this is bone meal. There we go. And what else? Several of flesh. No, it's gunpowder, my bad. Gunpowder, and I should turn it back on. And basically, I think it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, and then it will start running. I'm not sure does it require any LP though, but that is finished, and then we can get a definition sigil. Which basically, what it does is that unless it will tell us how much LP we have in our network, which, oh, that uses 500 LP, okay. So that's good, I guess. And let me put these things away. I'll put you here. And let me get my Dakar Sacrifice up again. Thank you. And what we can do with the ashes is that we can make rooms with it. For example, like the water sigil, which basically requires a black slate and a water reagent, which is sugar, wait, water, and water. Hmm. Is that the only way we can get water? Yeah. Wait a minute. Unless I can't make that yet. Hmm? Plankston in region on the creator water to make a water sigil. Yeah. But it says that if I want to make the water region, I require some water buckets. And if I want water buckets, there's like different stuff and can I make it with tinkers? With snow? That I don't think I can get. With drown, snow golem. Oh, we can get cactus with water. Oh, okay, so that means we must go through this then. In that case, screw you, I can't really do much with you yet. In that case, I will just queue a bit, put it back, and switch it off again. Because it's quite noisy, of course, I can switch them off here, but. Honestly, I don't really want to, and I just realized they gave me an iron ingot, which is wonderful. Let me put it back in. So let's see, what can we do with this? So first thing and foremost, we need this thing. So we will need cactus. Let's see. Yeah, it says contain a lot of water, extract with a mixer, full dirt on the ground. Oh, okay. So that means I need to get more dirt with granite, right? Can I put in off can? No, that can do. That's unfortunate. In that case, I just need to do this manually. 
but that should not take too long though. How much should I throw in then? Maybe all the granite then. I'm guessing that I need to make it like the, the, I think there's like an auto thing that you can use from grid to make like something that goes through walls that automatically like destroy stuff. I think. Where is it? Not this one. Uh, you. Right. No. Uh, I really forgot what this is. You, you. Not you. Which one is it? Ah, this one. This one. It says that we can use create to make a machine that can take space in front of it and keep moving forward. Basically, this can help us clear up a very large area, which is quite wonderful. In the process. Almost done. I need to smell even more granite though. That means even more mining. Off camera, of course. Not here. Not now. Well, maybe if I have a hammer, then that would be much more simpler. Let's see. I think I'll throw half of you here. And wait for a bit. Oh, of course, the magnet. I always forget the magnet. Let's see, and then here, yeah, we can turn the ground and hopefully get some kelp as well because it can be used to make mechanical belts. If I can get mechanical belts, then I don't have to go through the pain of getting so many gears in place and getting connected to everything else. Let's see. Oh, we got cactus. Wonderful. So let me put my chest here. My crop chest, or should I say. I need to plant some cactus though. So we have some sand. I'll just make a very simple one here for now. A cactus farm. Later on, we will have a much better farm. But for now, this should be fine. Oh, yeah, you can plant it on the walls. My bad. Well, I'll just put it here for now. That doesn't really matter. And cobblestone. And the core. Yay. So let's see, we got a gluttony charm, which allows us to eat food instantly, which is wonderful, and some sugarcane, even more wonderful. I would like to plant them, but I don't have any water yet, so I will wear this first. Charm, here, yeah. So let's see, what do we need to do next? We need to get some wheat, which I think I already got some, right? Just from slowly for sharing harvesting stuff. Yep, we got that the bit of it. So we got a cutting board. Can be placed in the world, huh? Oh, okay. Hi. I don't need you yet. Go in there. So let's see. We now we should be able to make you then. Mechanical press. That doesn't seem like a very hard recipe. Uh let's see. I think I'll put the sink in this chest then. So what do we need? An andesite alloy, two cockwheels, a casing, and a block of iron. Okay, I didn't get my block of iron then. Here, block of iron. There we go. And mechanical press acquired. Yay. And the fill. So after we get this, we need a the pot to put the place on, which actually the recipe is very simple as well. Just a casing and an alloy. There we go. And oh, it gives us even more casings. Wonderful. I don't need to craft them then. But we mainly want the mechanical mixer because it gives a lot of recipes for them. So this is again one, this, two, this. I don't need that much of this, and how in the world do I make this? The whisk. Oh, and the iron plates for that. Okay, that means I need to set this up for now. So, where should I put you? Do you work here? Seems like you do. And I will just put this right here for now. Why not? And the five ingots goes here, and then it will slowly but surely compress the, the ingots into place. Let's go. Power a mechanical press and use it to create some sheets. Of course, I can later on 
this will be a lot quicker, the speed. But for now, we have limited resources and no, I won't say limited. It's just that we don't have a lot of resources yet. So this will have to do for now. So let me prepare the rest of the resources. It's this, 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 and now I just need to wait for that. And we can, I think we will need this as well, the reason, which requires five andesite alloy. So why not I make that as well? Now I have the resources for it anyways. This is for holding stuff in it. So, well, where should I put this then? Maybe here. Maybe. You can filter this, you can see. For example, I put this there, and then only dirt can be pulled out of it when I automate this, but I, we don't really need that yet. Oh, it's done. Good. Wonderful. So, we can make the whisk, and we can make the mixer. Oh, the speed requirement. I have no idea do I have enough speed for that. So let's see here. Okay, so it requires this turn wheel. So I need a gearbox then. A gearbox that goes right. Where should I put this then? Gearbox. Uh, I need some more gears first and foremost. And doesn't this, yeah, this gives me gears as well. Let me put this a bit higher. And here, here, here. That's not what, what I was intending to do. I need this to change into a vertical one then. Right here. Oh, okay, okay, I understand now. It's not this is the problem. I need to put it on top of here. And then I can put a gear here and here. Wonderful, it's working! Hey! <laughs> so now what we only need to do is get some cactus. Do we even have a watering can here? Watering can? Doesn't seem like it, unfortunately. And I don't know how do we even speed up cactus growth. Mm. But we don't have cactus in the meantime. But I can tell that if we throw items in here, and then this will work, and then... Wait. It appears that this mechanical is root not rooting with enough speed. Oh no. In that case, I need to expand this mill for a time being. In that case, I'll be back in a bit after ex I expand this thing, and I'll be right back because, actually, do I need to? Or should I start with the melter and stuff? I think I should start with the melter. Maybe I won't come back in a bit. I think I can make the melter and I get a hammer, and then I can clear off the area much more quickly then. So maybe we'll start doing that, and because I do have quite a bit of stuff already, so yeah, maybe I should do that. I shouldn't come back. I should get some of this stuff for now. At least the demo version of it. And I need some glass, I just realized. Glass. And... This is the seared teeter, which we do want one of them. And I think that's how you make it. Uh, not this first. We want the melter. That means five glass, which we don't have enough. Of course we don't have enough. And of course, if you want to make more sand, basically, uh, you put coal stone in the crusher, and then it'll crush into gravel, and then gravel back in the crusher, and then it will get compressed into sand, eventually. Hello, can you give me some of it? I will appreciate it, unless it works a start of time, which that is unfortunate. I can't really do anything about that. So we are waiting for glass. Board. And my piece of glass. Thank you. There we go. And there we go. That's the things we need for now. To make the things we need. And of course I need this little thing. Unless we give us one of them. 
doesn't seem like cats. Okay, unfortunate. I will just use you, put you here, and I want a controller because I want a proper smeltery, which is this thing, which is four copper in the heater, which is very very easy. And I need, of course, I need to put fuel source here, so this should be enough. This should be. Come on, and what do I need to put in here? Ah, uh, the sea heater. Okay, I don't have the heater on me, so I need to make one quickly and get some sea stone into this. Give me some more bricks. Thank you very much. Eat her in there, smell it, and complete. Hehe. <laughs> and we don't need you anymore. Neither do you. And now I can make a proper smeltery. And I need you as well. The casting table. So where should I put this then? Hmm. Maybe I'll just put it through this wall. Why not? I'll just make it like the three times three size, the normal size, for now. Come on! Oh, I got emerald ore. Wonderful. The chances of getting like diamonds and stuff from mining all this stone is quite rare, honestly. I think so far I only got three diamonds ore from this total, but I managed to get. A little bit more, um, I would say, diamonds from the crushing, from the crushing wheel, which is nice, quite nice. Oh, my inventory is full. Whoopsies. That's not the thing. I want to put it in. That should be enough. And what we need to do is get. I see a bricks. I want to put it through the floor. Why not? It looks a lot nicer, and I can jump inside there easily to get blood. Honestly, I don't really know why we need blood. We there we go. And oh yeah, we can't use you yet. So I just remembered that we need the lava to get you working up, and we don't have lava yet. My bad. In that case, I. I don't. Yeah, I don't think we can make the hammer yet, unfortunately. So I need to get you out again. The heater, the melter, uh, this thing, and this thing. Oh well, we can keep you here for now. Right. I just remember that. Oopsies. But at least I can still make the stuff, I guess. Hee <laughs> hee. Just put here for that commission for now, and at least let's do this. Not you. It's working now, right? Yes, it is working. I haven't got an achievement for that. And now that I think about it, can't I use this for the smeltery then? I wonder. Uh, where is it? Here, solar fuel source for the melter. I'm not sure does this work. I would like to try though. Deep. Nope, that doesn't work. Unfortunate. It must be this then. Hmm. Oh well, I'll just leave it here for now. And I'll put you here as well because it says that we can make a better pickaxe head. Which I would like to get one. Which is basically. And we need a pick X gold cast first, so a piece of gold, two iron, and that is not the thing I want. I want the casting table, which is here. And I will put you here for now. Why not? I have no use for you for the close future. And uh, let's see, I would like. Of course, that doesn't work. A pickaxe head to get a freaking course. 
Why did I forget that? It only it only stores what type of liquids. My bad. In that case, the only thing I can do is break you and lose the things from it and put you back in here again. So I must melt you first, get a cast, and then I can change my pickaxe head. And I should repair you for the time being. This is nowhere I repair you. Is any cobblestone fine? Seems like so. Good, it's repaired. And now we can get the cast and the iron in here. Yay. Oh, it gives us an ingot cast as well, wonderful. You should have gave me that sooner though. And you gave me copper ore. And of course all the ore goes back here. And these go back here as well. Bye. Mm, I think I'll leave a cast here, why not? So I'll get my iron. Pickaxe head. Thank you. And change it. So that if you want durability, what does it give? Pick from the strongest iron. Yeah, it's strongest. So yeah. And let's see. Oh, it gives a, a cobalt small axe head. Why though? Why? Maybe just for changing this. Why not? So yeah, I will be back in a bit, clear up this area, make this a bit more larger, at least the window a bit more larger, and maybe we'll have enough speed to have this working, the mechanical missile working, and maybe by the time, by that point, I will get a little bit more cactus. Yeah, so see you back in a bit. Hey, I'm back, and as you can see, now the speed is turning a lot quicker now. I think I've increased from 16 to 128, mainly because you can see I made a windmill with maximum strength. Actually, it's by totally accident, I didn't mean to do that at all. And you can see it's very, very, very massive. From here to here to there. Basically, I just made uh, 7 on each side and then just put all cell, cell things, uh, the cell frame on there. So now it's going at maximum speed and I don't need to worry about power for the time being. Actually for quite a while. And I got some cactus grown for now. So let's collect them. Same with you. And I will just leave it here. I'll just guess a book is worth. So basically I put it here and then it will turn. And then after turning. I can get water. That is the thing I wanted the most. But how in the world do I get the water out? Um, extract her with a bucket. Oh yeah, I need a bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. I can get a bucket. And water out. Wonderful. I need you as well. Because of the quest, I forgot to claim it. So there, we got a tank, no, for some reason, and I got a basin with even more cactus for it. So let's plant some more, and get my sand out, ow, because I can't plant in places like these, right? So some more cactuses, you'll be fine. Just a little bit more cactus. Oh, the torch, my bad. So basically here and here. Will be my cactus farm for now. And that is quite wonderful. So yeah, so we have water now. And we can get the water seed later, but at least we got water and after we get another bucket of it, we can make an infinite water source, and honestly, I don't really think we need this infinite water anyways. As long as we get two buckets of it. So for now, I will place it down, I think right here. My water bucket, one. And we are only waiting for the second one now. Which shouldn't be too long when the cactus grows up though. I need to wait for that to grow up before I can get it. And what does this do? A tank now. Tank one. 
I have no idea. I think it stores the liquid then. I guess I'll put it away for now. Away you go. Same with you. And I can put this stuff away for now as well. Because now I've got this up and running. And basically what does that I think I said previously as well, as the speed goes up, I can process resources even more quickly. For example, I'll just throw well, a bit of copper in here. Goes in here, it get crushes, and then very quickly it can get processed out again. I think. Well, it should be very quick though, but at least I got some clay from sifting those things as well. And I should get some more glass, yeah, for the time being. And yeah. Oh, it even tells me that. Oh, we can process 16 ores at a time. Oh, you can see, I got the processor quite quickly. And afterwards, later on, I would like to process through bulk washing and stuff, get even more resource for that. But that is for later though, because uh, I'm going to end this episode here for now, even though I don't really think I did a lot of stuff. But in the next episode, I would like to start working on a lot more stuff, like for example, maybe start working on immersive engineering and stuff. And I will collect even more resources. And for getting these, maybe I'll co uh, collect this off camera for the blank rooms and stuff. Basically, you need blank space, as you can know, it's very time consuming. That means even more zombies, even more blood, even more things, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. So, oh, my madness. Oops, my bad. So, yeah. So thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye.